Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the Star Wars Batman Show. So, as promised, we're going to be reviewing a Batman movie. This movie is an animated movie called Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. It was based off the cartoon series Batman Beyond, which premiered in 1999 to 2001. This movie features, of course, the Joker. Uh, Terry McGinnis is Batman Beyond. Well, Batman. The new Batman, I should say. And it even has Kevin Conroy as the old Batman. Um, I'm going to briefly go over the series. In this series, uh, Batman has become too old to continue his war on crime, and as a result, was was retired and has become a bitter recluse. Terry McGinnis was uh, introduced to Bruce Wayne through by means of uh, his father being shot and he and him going to Bruce Wayne for help. Um, in, a, in, a, in a series of events, Bat Terry McGinnis took on the mantle of Batman. This movie features plenty of twists and turns, plenty of action. In fact, it was actually kind of criticized for having too much action. And of course, with and of course, the one big twist at the end of the movie. So, with all cases. So, going to the beginning of the film, a group of Jokers, which is a gang that emulates the notorious Clown Prince of Crime, are making a robbery on an unknown warehouse. Who do they meet? Okay, you guys all know this. It's Batman. Terry McGinnis says Batman. They meet Batman, Batman fights them in a really cool action sequence, which probably should be used for more live action films, and beats them all up. Well, not all of them. They manage to get away with the device, but he, Batman gives chase and eventually stops them by blowing up the device. Good job, Batman. So, Terry goes back to the Batcave, has a little conference with Bruce, goes out with Dana, they have a little bit of comic relief, and they go, and while the Jokers go back to their lair, where they meet Joker. The Joker is alive and well. And he looks pretty young. He must have found the fountain of eternal youth in Arkham City. After the Joker surprises everyone at Bruce Wayne's return to Wayne Powers, Wayne Powers, yeah, Wayne Powers Enterprises, uh, yes, uh, Derek Powers and Bruce Wayne merged during the series. So, like I said, after he surprises everyone, uh, Bruce Wayne and Terry McGinnis discuss the return of the Joker. You know, while wow. the Joker is preparing whatever the Joker is preparing to do. They don't know. It's the Joker. He's very, uh, he's a very unpredictable character. He always has been. So there's no telling what he's going to do. But Bruce denies that this is the real Joker. He thinks it's a fake. Real. Bruce Wayne thinks that he's a fake because he supposedly killed the real Joker. Well, it's hinted at. He doesn't say he did, it's hinted at. So, in other words, he basically fires Terry from being Batman, because he does not want to, to him to take on this Joker, whether it's fake or... So, Terry decides to go home, spend some time with his family, while Bruce Wayne figures out who this fake Joker could be. Um, and then we have... Joker decides to attack Bruce Wayne because apparently he knows who he is. And so we're going to end this part. We're just going to end part one of this review with the attack on Wayne Manor.